Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to do a to do a comparison between RPD and RPK. Let's begin. Uh, first we are going to see how RPD firing. Okay, so first slow 50. Uh, click and hide and parts name okay so let's remove this part and uh, this part and this part this this and uh, this part okay so let's fire it so 50 okay let's fire it okay so when you firing you can see here the sear is hooked into the uh, the trigger is hooked into the shear and when you fire you pull you pull the trigger it will uh, hook down push down the shear which is will release the bolt carrier which is half uh, right locking lock and the left locking lock and the bolt and the firing pin that's connected to the uh, to the bolt carrier the bolt carrier is connected to the gas piston okay so let's continue it's firing releasing the the bolt carrier okay and the bolt here is pushing the round uh, RPK and RPD using a same the same round which is a 762 by 39 it's a AK round so let's begin okay so the continue the bolt is pushing the round into the chamber it's into the chamber and uh, the round in the chamber and the bolt carrier will push the right and the left locking lock the bolt okay okay wait I'm gonna focus from top okay 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 you can see here the bolt carrier will move forward so the bolt carrier will lock the right and the left locking lock into the position in the receiver before it, it uh, before the bolt the bolt carrier hitting before the bolt carrier hitting the firing pin. Okay. So you can see from here that the bolt carrier so the bolt carrier will uh, hit the firing pin after it push the locking lock uh, left and right locking lock into position so the, so the weapon is secure and lock a second before a few, uh, the weapon was locked and secure few second or millisecond before the bolt carrier hitting the firing pin which is will fire the round okay so it's so it's firing now the gas inside the barrel is expanding and pushing and pushing the gas piston and the bolt carrier it's pushing it back okay pushing it back and uh, next round is ready move into the position and fire firing firing second round done okay now everybody always wanted to see how the how the eject 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 uh, bullet ejection work okay so this is how the rpd eject the bullet after it fire okay so firing first okay you can see here you can see this part this is the ejector 
Okay. So the run was pushed by. Okay. Let's remove the bolt. Okay. The run is pushed by the bolt into the chamber. Fire, fire, and uh, the round is pulled back by the bolt. It was locked, and then it was pushed down by the frame. Okay, so it was ejected, ejected down by the frame uh, ejector here, the ejector part here, and second round is ready. Okay, so that's how the ejection work in RPD just like that okay so let's let's do it continuously in uh, 10 apps okay just like that okay now let's see the feeding mechanism let's remove the cover and feeding mechanism housing maybe we, maybe we see it first before removing more parts okay so when when you firing okay so so when you firing like that so when you're firing there is bolt receive bolt carrier with this bolt carrier roller is moving the cam so when you're firing the bolt carrier roller roll, roll, roller is moving the cam okay so moving the cam like that when the cam move the feeding lever move into the right into the left it move into the left and be belt fit pro and the belt follower will move into the left again like like that okay so they, they were in this position when you're firing the cam and uh, the cam will move because the bolt roller is moving the cam okay so so, so let's begin let's begin from the beginning okay so the cam roller the cam roller the cam feeding lever okay so it's firing and it move okay so the feeding lever is moving it's moving so the belt follower is move over the round into the next position okay so when you fire in, when you fire the belt follower will move over one step and after you fire uh, the the bolt is moving back yeah. and that action of moving back will, will of course change the the, the position of the cam again like that just like that okay so when you fire the cam moving the cam moving with the feeding lever moving like that and uh, the feeding lever is moving the bit belt feet pro and the belt follower move, moving over the round, one round and then and then after firing it pushing back the the belt it's like pushing the belt into the right okay just like that okay after that it's continue like that the, the cycle of feeding mechanism continue when you fire it so just like that so that's the feeding mechanism so let's re uh, let's let's replay okay so cam okay so so slow 50 
see it. The cam is moving. So uh, you can see here the the cam is connected to the feeding lever from this part, while uh, feeding lever was connected to the upper to the upper cover uh, to, the, to the cover top cover so it can move uh, left and right so that's how the mechanism work so when you're firing it move the belt fade pro just like that okay so let's see it from this position So the RPD is RPD is using a, 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 a using a DP27 27 squad automatic weapon bolt and the locking lock and the bolt carrier because I think it's basically the same very similar to the DP27 but the feeding mechanism on top of it is different which is allow allow uh, belt help mechanism as a as a as magazine okay so the belt as a magazine not a uh, disc magazine like in DP27 okay so let's see the safety so the safety is you preventing the seal from going down so this is safety off the 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 the, the seal can go down when safety on the seal cannot go down just like that okay so the safety is stopping the seal from moving okay so be put just like that So now let's compare it with RPK. So this is RPK. As you can see, this is RPK 74, which is using a different, different round, which is uh, 545 by 39. So this is. Uh, different uh, caliber but original rpk i think it's uh, ak using ak around but it doesn't matter it's still the same for the purpose is still the same the difference is the caliber okay so so let's uh, begin it's basically similar to ak In this in this RPK 74, there is a let's let's begin from this uh, position. Okay, so this is side mount to mount a snap uh, uh, scope to mount scope. Okay, so we are firing here. When you pull the trigger, it will release the hammer. So this is hammer fire, not a strike fire, on, and it, it's a close bolt, close bolt because it's basically AK, while RPD is a open bolt machine gun. Okay, so let's begin. We are firing just like AK. Firing just like that. You have hammer retarder latch. Okay. 
okay so when you're firing it's just like okay you except you have this hammer retarder base and the retarder latch okay so that's how you're firing in single single fire let's try uh, full auto just like AK in the full auto uh, the selector is holding this connector from moving it holding the disconnector from uh, stopping the hammer okay and you have auto sear over here which is will release when when the bolt uh, bolt carrier hitting it so it will disengage when when you have run the chamber so it, it can cycle full automatic okay so that's how it work and uh, let's fire it in full auto first round second round let's see it from here this is the auto sear it's supposed to be auto sear or maybe it's sear I don't know why they name it like that So this is like AK, there's nothing nothing too different about this. So you just, just did set okay. So this is the barrel, longer bar barrel with the bipod, so firing. Firing again. Just like AK. How about uh, my guess in the It's it it sound like it's it sound like the RPK have more rate of power uh, rate, rate of fire. Okay. So that's full auto now safety. Safety is you fully stop the trigger and the disconnector from moving. Okay, so this is Safety of this single fire, single fire, full auto. So in full auto, you're stopping the disconnector from moving. In single fire, you don't stop anything. And uh, and the safety, you basically stop, you basically stop the trigger and disconnector from moving. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. There's not much differences here. I think if there is something you want to point out in the comment, you can and if it's if it's very very informative i will pin your comment so yeah that's it and uh, don't forget to check our twitter if you want to give donation and uh, thank you thank you for watching everyone i will see you in the next video bye bye